Hi, this is Jacob with RemoveVirus.org, and today we're going to be took a, taking a look at your uh, Total Security, also known as Total Security 2009, is the uh, um, exact version that we have. And we'll see the icon here. Now, the icon is slightly missing, and that's because, uh, well, you'll learn why here in just a second. So, let's go ahead and bring up that client again. And this is known as a Smith Fraud client, it is a bogus, fake security client. Um, it, as you probably can already tell, it uh, it is malicious and it is not a real client at all. And the purpose of this guy is to help you go through the removal process of it and part of the removal process at least. And one of the first things we're going to do is show you a few things that that um, oftentimes will happen when you try to use this program. Um, let's say you try to start up something. Let's say even the uh, task manager. Or, or the like, you will oftentimes get warnings down here saying that the program was actually blocked and it could not run. And if you're unable to run any security program or any program at all, and it's constantly telling you down here that it's uh, being blocked, well, uh, and, and you can't run any security clients, you can't do any updates, that's uh, one of the main purposes of this uh, virus is to kind of stop you from... Um, actually running anything. We're going to take a quick look here. The, one of the best things to do really is, is boot into safe mode. If you know how to boot into safe mode, great. Uh, just start pressing the F8 key every other second as you're booting up Windows. And that's one of the better ways uh, of entering into safe mode. From there you can also use help use this guy to, to uh, stop uh, and remove it. But we'll go ahead. And this is just some of the warnings that come up here. In this instance, we, we are in normal mode, but that's just because uh, we were able to do a, f uh, a little bit of a hat trick, and I'll show you what that hat trick is. And this is the process right here. And uh, besides all those ones in there, and we'll show you the exact process you have to kill for this particular version. Some of them are going to be uh, tsc.exe. Uh, Again, that's going to be tsc.exe. Um, and we do have those exact file names on our... Uh, on the removevirus.org website too as well which uh, I would advise you go there to actually read the manual uh, removal guide too, is, too so we'll go ahead and let me just end this process yes to end the process if you can't use the task manager if it's been disabled we do have other tools on our website too you can download for free one of them is the kill process tool which is a uh, it which is helpful when uh, um, things disable the task manager but let me show you how you can actually run applications in case uh, system security or total S security 2009 in case it has disabled uh, safe mode for you if you get in like a boot virus and you cannot enter into safe mode is what to, you should do is right click on the file name select properties and under properties you're going to see the exact path to where that file is located so let's go ahead and browse down there to it so it's c colon uh, um, documents all users it's going to be this path right here is what you can do when you're in there is go ahead and try deleting whatever you can in that folder some things will be a uh, you'll be able to delete and others you will not delete yes this guy most likely you will not be able to delete and like I said originally is going to be named this right here and all you have to do go ahead and right click on it go down to properties and just enter in a few ones anywhere and it doesn't matter where you can delete most of it move it around whatever you want to type in there type in there and then you can hit OK and so what's gonna happen is next time you then go ahead and reboot your computer next time you go to reboot it's not gonna be able to find the file not that first time around anyways the second boot yeah I can pick something else up and this trace for the file name will be different on a lot of people's systems um, it's one that mutates a lot and next time you'll boot up you'll be able to see that and then you can actually browse to the file location and here we go all users and the application data is right here now um, if you can't see that it is a hidden folder so you might have to go to tools folder options view and then right down here show hidden files and folders make sure that's selected and hit OK and then that'll be able to get you to go back in you can uh, uh, unhide them um, afterwards and we can actually go in that folder and this is after you reboot that we've already renamed it one now now that I've um, rebooted the system you should be able to right click on it delete it hit yes and that's one of the first parts to deleting this 
Um, so now you've actually officially deleted that that uh, fake client. And this guy, uh, Total Security, does hide in quite a few folders. Sometimes you will notice it under the C colon backslash program files under the folder name TSC. Now for the 2009 version on this, we did not have that folder. It was hidden exactly where we showed it to you. So I'm going to go ahead and right click delete this too as well. And now um, at this point in time, you should be able to open up your task manager. You should be able to run any security programs that you want to run. And we are going to have these links, um, like I said, on our, our removevirus.org website. So just go ahead and go there. Um, the keyword should be the uh, total security 2009. And just do a search, and you'll be able to find these two as well. And just what you're going to do, and we used uh, Spyro Doctor with antivirus. It does work to remove this client, and we do recommend, um, even if you don't intend on purchasing the client, to remove everything. Um, it does work, but we do recommend you at least run a scan. That way you'll know if any of these traces have changed. And basically, once you run a scan here, and this is just the IntelliScan that I ran. There's a few other Trojans on here too as well, since we installed this virus. Um, this will tell you the exact link locations of where you have to go to actually delete. And so really, all you have to do is go to Browse to this directory, Programs, and just delete the Total Security folder. And that's going to take care of both of those for you. And then down here, let's go ahead and let's browse to one of the registry keys that we're going to have to delete and just to show you how it's going to be done. So what you're going to do is go ahead and go to the Start button, come down here for you, Run, and Vista is going to be very similar. You're just going to go to the Run command. Now RegEdit is already there. Just go ahead and type in RegEdit. And like we said, we have guides on exactly how to do this. And keep in mind, though, editing the system registry is dangerous. Um, it's not something we do recommend uh, average people to do and we've actually browsed down to the traces already and we do have a full disclaimer on our website too as well um, as well as at the beginning of this video system security and these are the strings in there and even though this this the virus is called um, you know total security 2009 um, it will go by different strains and I'm guessing that the system security 2009 are probably the people who made this so we'll go ahead right click we're just gonna delete it unless you want to delete this and all the sub keys yes and so really that took care of a lot of it now I would um, highly recommend you run a full in-depth scan uh, with the Spyro Doctor with antivirus is what we use it's my favorite client you'll see it recommended a lot on our site and uh, um, it's good stuff uh, one license is good for up to three computers so in my opinion it's well worth it and basically in a nutshell that's it now for us the Total Security 2009 did not hijack the desktop uh, and it uh, um, did not disable system restore for us but uh, some people may find that it will hijack your desktop area. I'll push, put an image there too as well. And we'll have removal instructions there and everything to how to help you out as long, uh, along with another tool, a Smith 5 fix we like to recommend. There's a new tool that we're demoing out from some guys uh, that's free and we're going to be putting that up on our website too in the next few days, uh, providing it works for us. And that is it. I hope you enjoy the video. And remember, for more information, feel free to check out removevirus.org. Just type in uh, Total Security or Total Security 2009 and uh, read the removal guide there too as well. Take care.